Oh my god! Shut up, I'm watching a mukbang. It's getting good. Mm -hmm. Since you're here, I might as well review an oil pastel. <laughs> it is 1 a.m. I'm in the mood to check out some brand new oil pastels and test them out for you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into this. So these Fiber Castell oil pastels, I actually got them about a year and a half ago. Never opened them because I'm a little lazy. Let's go ahead and check out Fiber Castell oil pastel. Mm, I want a corn dog. Down here, please, thank you. Please don't come from my dirty desk. It's called being an artist. Okay, I can't just always have a clean desk. Here it is, this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, this didn't come with no wrapping around it, so I like a good wrapping. I wanna feel like I'm opening up a present. So this is what it looks like. Faber Castell. They got me the pack of 24, so let's go ahead and open it on up. Ooh, oh. So we get a little booklet. Okay, okay, fancy. Okay, I like this. Oh, it's a whole ass book. I'm digging that. I might read that. Probably won't, but uh, it even has different languages. Little, got a little scratch, scratch technique. Also, don't look at my knuckles. Um, It's the winter. Let's get into this. Ooh. Ah. Right off the bat, they look chunky. They look thick. They remind me of Expressionist oil pastels. Also remind me of uh, the Michaels brand Artist Loft. Uh-oh, hold on, this don't seem pigmented at all. Damn, I don't wanna judge too soon. They're looking a little dry. Will it show up on my dry skin? Ooh, it does. Now, is this really a black bean review if it doesn't have no hand swatching? So to begin with, let's go ahead and start with Crayola. I don't have the wrapper on it. Okay. Mungio or gallery oil pastel, soft oil pastel. As you can see, these are very similar. And then this is the fiber castel. Are y'all ready? Oh, okay. Oh no. Ooh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I'm judging too quick. I'm judging too quick. Let's go ahead and do a little fancy shot here. Ooh, ooh. Focus, damn. Fiber castel. Of the first page. Ooh. I got some paper here, ready to draw. I don't know what I'm drawing, but we got the oil pastels here. I don't know how this is gonna go. I've never used Faber Castell. It's time to review Faber Castell. Hello, my juicy friends. So I don't know where to begin with this. Uh, this is gonna be a very quick one, so don't get too invested. I went in with the initial sketch, like I always do, uh, not really thinking what the hell I'm gonna do. I ended up turning this sketch into a little heart uh, because it's almost Valentine's Day, whatever. You know, the love of your life. Uh, when I first started using this blue, I kind of liked it until I started smearing it with my finger, as you can see here. That's what I do uh, most of the time when I'm testing out oil pastel, just to see the blendability. Literally none. This red, oh, it was the end of it all. I should have just stopped here, honestly. But that red did not have any blendability at all. You see how far it stretches? It don't stretch at all. And don't get me started on the layering or the blending. And this blue sent me over the top. You see how it's not even penetrating the paper? And it's translute. Ooh, I'm getting mad again. I'm gonna need a minute. I need a minute, one second. The downfall of this whole entire portrait, I would say, would be when I started to fill in the mid-tones of it all. Um, the colors, I'm not even kidding you, are so translucent that you could use any color for a mid-tone, honestly. The green was the only redeem, I'm, oh, I can't believe I said it, but the green was the only redeeming quality of these oil pastels because that was actually kind of opaque. But you see how see-through everything is and how you see those like nasty, like, um, like, Ugh, those muddy areas that you cannot fix you can't fix it with these old pastels because they are all but I was getting so mad I was like looking at the box. I'm like am I doing this wrong? That's how mad I was getting over. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let this roll for a hot minute And yes, I try to do a scratchy scratch because I'm like, oh, maybe I could fix it, but she can't be saved Not at all I have one word. I have two words. The audacity. The audacity. Bef Let me first say, if these oil pastels are the only oil pastels you have access to, you still can make amazing art with them. You will be able to make something good with these oil pastels, I promise you. However, 
Me personally, having used so many different oil pastels that range from different prices, these have to be the worst oil pastels, the worst you get for the money. Now let's get into these real quick before I just, I'm okay. I'm gonna set these down. These oil pastels do not stick to the paper. Forget about blending, forget about layering. They don't even stick to the paper. These oil pastels are full of binder. Oil pastels, they're made of binder and pigment and of course like an oil, right? This, these, I have nothing nice to say about these. I have nothing. There's nothing nice to say about these. Actually, hold on. They are a pretty decent size, but damn. I can't say, oh my gosh, okay. I do not know why these oil pastels have me so upset right now, but they do. I've been wanting to try these oil pastels out for the longest time. So I'm pretty sure some of the disappointment has to do with me holding on to these for so long and haven't tried them yet. So the anticipation was there. I wouldn't even give these to my niece. She's six. I have a feeling that nobody's gonna wanna work with me now because I'm trash talking oil pastels. But this is my honest review. There's no redeeming quality on these oil pastels at all. This is a 24 pack. Now, since these were a gift, I had to look up the price. They range about 17 to $20, right? I can safely say that I wouldn't even spend $5 on these. It's creative studio quality. No, it's not. I don't know what oil pastels they use for this picture, but it's not these. This is accurate though. This is very accurate, right? Look at this scraffito. This is what the oil pastels look like. Trash. This is accurate too. Look at that. You know what? At least they weren't false advertisement because that's what it looks like when you try and blend. Trash. I have not been this disappointed since the Pentel. The Pentel oil pastels. Y'all remember that? They are all over. The crumbs. My God. Fiber Castell. You need to stick with pens, pencils, and color pencils. That's it. This, this, this is over. Thank you so much for tuning in onto this video. If this upsets you, I apologize. If these are your favorite oil pastels, I apologize. I would never buy these. I'm sorry to this man. Should have known by the box. I should have known by the box. It didn't have no wrapping on it. If you're over the age of five, um, I wouldn't get these. So without yapping too much, thank you so much for hopping on to this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you got creative with me, even though this might be a short video. If you have used these oil pastels, please let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I hope you have a great day. Stay creative. And as always, if you have any questions, concerns, or any suggestions, please let me know down below. So yeah, good night.